What's up, Internet? Welcome back to Thrifting in Connecticut. This is going to be possibly the last Thrifting in Connecticut you're going to see in this room. We're moving. Uh, we went to a thrift store on the garage sale weekend. And that's why it's going to be a quick video, because otherwise I would just include it with the garage sale stuff. But Thrifting in Connecticut is like my second to third biggest series so I don't want to just write it off and show these pickups in a whatever you know weekend adventure whatever pickup video like it doesn't fit it's a thrifting video um picked up a few games the savers randomly had them priced at 99 cents each so I'd buy that for a dollar we got Medal of Honor Rising Sun Check it out, check the condition. It is complete and it is in really nice shape. So that's pretty cool. Now for games like this that I'm not likely to go back and play a first person shooter from the PS2 era, probably gonna be going into my tag sale pile. So I'll be selling those for like $2 at my tag sale most likely. Uh, then we got Ace Combat 4, Shattered Skies complete with the wrong disc in it which is interesting because it has Ace Combat 5 the Unsung War inside uh, this disc is scratched on the surface which kind of sucks and the back doesn't look that bad I don't know if a surface scratch like that is going to play a role uh, has the right manual but the interesting thing about that is I actually have Ace Combat 5, The Unsung War. Given this is greatest hits, so it would have been a different disc. Let's see if I actually have two copies of The Unsung War. And I don't. These are actually switched. <laughs> so this disc goes with this. This disc goes with this. So it's a good thing I bought both. Otherwise, I would have been like, what the fuck? And of course, this one has the right manual. So I'll just swap those discs. Uh, this one's in a lot better shape, to be honest. Possibly tag sale, maybe sell it on eBay, I'm not sure. Uh, this is a game that I picked up because I actually don't believe I have it for my collection. It was $2, Driver. Uh, this came out before Grand Theft Auto went 3D. And I always thought it was an interesting series. I never actually tried it though. Has the right game in there, which is a nice start. Uh, this could be a little bit better, a little dusty. Actually, everything here is a little dusty. So this one's for the collection, probably going to have to find a better case for it that's not cracked in multiple places. And the last thing I got was actually something at the same thrift store that I didn't find. Alicia found it, and when I found her, she had it for me. It's pretty cool. I've been into picking up Tiger Electronic handhelds lately, and this one especially, I didn't know it existed, and it's super cool. It's for Jet Moto. And it's shaped kind of like, you know, whatever they're called, the uh, Jet Moto bikes, I guess. And it's got a little trigger down here. I don't know if that is for the... I actually don't know what that's for. Because Accelerate is on the pad. Uh, it's going to need new batteries. It does not work. And of course, you need a screwdriver to open it, which is really unfortunate. Because I don't have one at the ready. So I don't know if it works. So I don't know if it works, but I'm always happy to have a new Tiger Electronic in my collection. That was $4. We also found some stuff for the house. Not going to show that here because this is a gaming channel. But we had some really good pickups for the house. Definitely a great savings at the Savers. So it's actually interesting. We were talking about it. And when you have something aside from like your niche, niche, whatever, how you say that word, uh, thing that you look for, to look for at the goodwills and savers it makes the trips a lot more bearable because sure we didn't find video games at all of our thrift store hunts this week but now that we're looking for stuff for our new apartment it opens up a whole new world of stuff to look at that we would have just passed by so definitely broaden your horizons i'm not saying go buy stuff for your apartment or your house or whatever but i'm just saying like if you like toys but you usually look for video games ah, check out the toy aisle uh, you know, check out some board games. Some board games might be there. It might be interesting. 
definitely open yourself up to more possibilities at the thrift stores because I know we've all been complaining that thrift stores suck nowadays. It doesn't suck for everybody. Like, toy guys might be having their renaissance of thrift stores. Uh, board game collectors might be having that next week, you know? Like, it, it, it's, it changes. Like, video games are popular now, so it's harder to find at thrift stores, but... You still find some sometimes, and it doesn't have to be a home run every single time. Sometimes you can find some random shit that just makes you happy. Like this. Hey guys, I thought that was it, but went to another thrift store, a week later, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Strategy Guide. I actually already have this one, Alicia got it for me a while ago, but this one's in a lot better condition. This one's like practically brand new, which is pretty cool for a strategy guide. And also some handhelds. Well, they're not Tiger Electronic, so I wouldn't call them that. One of them is probably going directly in the trash, because I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a little kid's toy. But they're bundled together. We have... It doesn't actually have a name. It's just a kid's calculator. And we have a Radica Tetris, which is cool because I actually have a Radica Tetris, the larger one, coming in the mail at some point. You might have already actually seen it by the time this video gets posted. I don't know when I'm posting this. But it's only two bucks for these. What the hell? Nothing crazy though. Crazy to see. Game Boy Advance game and a whole bunch of DS stuff with it. Seven bucks. I'll take it. Now we're going to look for looking out for some strategy guides now. Looks like we're both doing okay today. <laughs> Does yours roll better? Because this one sucks. I haven't, roll, I haven't been rolling it. Put it down and roll it. Move your stuff first. Well, roll it. Mm -hmm. Testing the integrity of our uh, baskets. Go really? What was that for? Arrow book is still here. <laughs> From whatever that last thrifting video posted. Definitely getting this. Ooh. What the hell is this? Dungeons and Dragons Essentials. Looks like it's fourth edition though. Uh, still cool to see. We'll probably charge three nine three fifty for it. 
Pretty cool. Star Wars one. What are these though? Like officially. Six dollars. Marvel. Turtles. Star Wars. Star Wars. These are pretty cool. They're filming. <laughs> it's already being filmed. Cause look, like look at look at this too. Oh, and there's a Splatoon guide. Huh. <laughs> This is the, the savers that keeps on giving. We got this random D and D book, but it's fourth edition, and I don't give a fuck about fourth. Um, definitely gonna take a look at them. I just don't know. Yeah. Now I feel like I need to check like every nook and cranny because I almost missed the Splatoon guide. Not that I even have the game, but kind of have a no guides left behind kind of uh, approach to this, unless it's a PC game. Although Danny kind of wanted me to pick this up. Yeah, fuck it. Hey guys, let's take a look at what I was able to find on this, well, thrifting in Connecticut. It only took place over a weekend, which is actually pretty good for me. Usually, these are over the course of like a month because it takes a while for me to find some shit. Uh, we'll go chronologically, even though the best stuff is up front. Uh, N64 games at a thrift store. Just hanging there. Not something I see every day. Unfortunately, no real standout titles, but I did pick up a few. And not a lot of them are worth it. Uh, MRC. This is the most expensive one that they had up there. It's $3, and it's worth about $3. We got the classic Wave Race 64 for $2, Penny Racers for $2, and for $0.99, cents, Mia Ham Soccer 64. Uh, because I was so enthralled with seeing cartridges there, I actually almost missed this. I actually noticed this when I went back to look for more cartridges to see if I missed anything, and I came across this. Let's open this up. I probably could have opened those ones up too, but fuck it. We'll open this one up because it actually has more in it than meets the eye. First up, the obvious thing, we have a most likely factory sealed Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder for the Game Boy Advance. I honestly don't know if I'll keep it. I don't really care for the Pro Snowboarder series. I never played them. I mean, I like, I like Pro Skater. Pro Snowboarder, I eh, can probably do without. Came with one of these DS carrying cases. And then some DS games. And you notice the $7 price sticker on this bag. And at first I was just like, is that even worth it? Oddly enough, it really fucking was. Uh, first off, we have Lego Battles for the DS. And then we have two DS games that are not for resale. And they actually have stickers on them, not for resale. Demo kiosk only, property of Nintendo. And then it has a store number on there. And that is Glory of Heracles. And Picross 3D. And they go for about 20, 15, somewhere in that range. So definitely really cool to find. Not going to be holding on to them because for one, I'm not going to collect any loose DS games. Even if they are not for resale. Like... And you gotta make your money back somehow. Uh, at a different thrift store, I decided to pick up for $3 Gran Turismo 5 XL Edition. I don't know. For Let's Play Something, Gran Turismo games might be fun to play at some point. See how the series has come along. I haven't played one since 3. So, let me see if I'm blown away by some PS3 graphics in 2017. Uh, at the last thrift store we went to, there were some interesting items. I actually wasn't sure what these were earlier in the video. But they are, and of course now I don't fucking know because I don't see it on here. But these two items... What are they called? 
Like if you look on the back, it's like embossed on there. Not on that one, apparently. But we got these cool little metal art plates. This one's Marvel. It has some Marvel characters. It's got Spider-Man, Wolverine, uh, Daredevil, Punisher, Deadpool, and the Hulk. And then this other one, this was the main one I wanted. And they came in packs of two. So for both of these, I paid $6. This one has Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here it is. Chromolux. Whatever that is, that's what this is. Chromolux. And if you look on eBay, you could actually see people trying to sell these with whatever image you want on them. I guess it's easy to print on them or whatever for pretty expensive like $30 so while these would be hard to find a buyer for I imagine just because of how specific it is like here who wants a Marvel Chromalux thing you know when they're super customizable anyway uh, definitely gonna be putting this up in the new game room somewhere I think this is really cool kind of weird how Donatello is like barely visible he's so fucking dark in this uh, and the main thing as you saw in the video Alicia came over to me with these I was enthralled with these strategy guides that they had. I'm always excited to find some strategy guides at the Savers now. This one I picked up because in the last video I didn't, and Danny said I probably should have. I don't know. If Danny's interested in it, he can have it. Pharaoh, build a kingdom, rule the Nile, live forever. Looks like a PC game. Looks a lot like Civilization or like SimCity, but with an Egyptian theme. An Egyptian theme. Um, picked up the one that we saw for Splatoon, don't have the game, probably will pick up Splatoon 2 at some point, I don't know if this would have any bearing on it, I mean it's an online only game, maybe it has some strategies in here, I don't know, I like strategy guys, what do you want? And this one, I don't know if it's a double, because in the weekend adventure where I got like the 60 guides... I assume this one was probably in there, but I'm not 100% sure, but I picked it up anyway. Unfortunately, at this Savers, they sometimes fuck up their pricing on guides, and what these should be is, I believe, $3.50 each. Sometimes they ring up as magazines, which I've really lucked out on in the past. They ring them up as magazines, and I'll get them for like $0.29 cents each or something like that, and I've also had them ring them up for a dollar each. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention, and Alicia was checking them out, and yeah, we paid full price, which honestly, for this, I'll pay $3.50 for it, I guess. Splatoon, maybe a little bit less, and definitely a lot less for Pharaoh, but it is what it is. Someone had a uh, bottle movement and the Streamcast controller came out. Not exactly the greatest prices for some games. $15 for the Mega Man game is actually about what it goes for. 
and seven dollars for Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color. Not exactly something I'm interested in paying. Hey guys, this has to be one of the weirdest thrifting videos you've ever seen from me because I, I, I haven't started editing it yet because I'm still shooting it and I've got like three or four thrifting videos worth of content in here because I usually keep them short now but because I haven't edited the thrifting video I just keep finding more stuff at my thrift stores to add to the video so you've probably seen like three pickup videos so far uh, three different, you know, three or four, five different segments of game hunting. But maybe this will be the end of it. I don't know. Who knows? Um, like I said in the past, kind of developing a thing for strategy guides. Probably to my detriment. But this savers that I found these at sometimes fucks up the pricing on them. And they kind of did that in this case, this time in my favor. Uh, these should have been about, what, eleven fifty worth of guides. You figure, the first one I'm going to show you here, Super Mario Galaxy Collector's Edition. They have a $4 price sticker on there. And all the other guides should be, based on their regular price, $3.50 each. However, they rang these up, I believe, as magazines, so they were a dollar each, so we really lucked out. First up, we have Sonic Colors. Very nice condition. There were also some other Sonic guides there that I left behind because they were some really boo-boo, shitty games. Uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic Unleashed. Fuck those games. Like, why would I ever want to know how to get through those? But Sonic Colors is actually pretty cool. Although I just wondered, is this for the Wii or the DS? It's probably for the Wii. But yeah, covers Nintendo Wii. So this is only for if you have the Wii version of the game. Which I don't really think I have, but I probably do somewhere where I can get it. Don't you have it? You had it at some point. I don't know if you got rid of it. Yeah, that's what the guy is for. Um... A game that I don't really know why you need a guide for. Uh, I guess if you're playing single player, it says every single secret revealed so you can engineer reversals of fortune. Mario Party 8. I feel like most of the tips that they would give you in here is just like waggle the controller faster. Waggle the controller this way. Yeah, see? In the nick of time, rotate clock hands. I don't know. It was a nice condition. I picked it up. Only happened to be a dollar, so it works out. And the guide that I really, really wanted to get, because it's actually for an RPG. Who would have thought it? But it is a Mario RPG, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. So I got this for a dollar. Unfortunately, not in quite as good shape as the other guides, but still very nice for the collection. Which, hopefully, when we move out of here, we'll actually have a good place to display because that's still kind of something that's up in the air if we will actually even have room for all the guides I'm collecting but yeah I don't know if this is the end of the thrifting video because you've probably seen about a month and a half worth of thrifting so far in this very video but I'm not sure if it's over yet so hey guys so I didn't film the savers just now but I have an interesting story about what happened when I was in the Sabres. Start it once we get in this car, which I haven't unlocked. Amateur hour over here. Alright. So, story time. I'm in the Sabres. Checking out these two games that I decided to pick up for the PSP, and so rare to see. For one, at the Savers, it's so rare to see games that you could actually get to without getting an associate to help you. But now that they've moved them back out to the public, um, the puzzle, guzzle, fucking weird name. Um, Two dollars. 
and Wipeout Pure, which I'm not sure if I have. I know I don't have Puzzle Guzzle. That's such a weird name. I would have remembered it. Um, $2 each. I'm looking at them, looking at the other games, and there's uh, a lady with, I guess, family, friends, kind of looking at some of the books that are near there. See, I'm looking at the PSP stuff, and she says, oh, hey, actually, I should grab it. Oh, hey, I have, um, if you're interested, I have some games like that in the car. You could just have them because we weren't really sure what to do with them. My nephew didn't want to bring them to GameStop because they wouldn't give him any money for them or something like that. So I got a bag of random PSP and Game Boy DS stuff for free on this trip to Savers. Which is really cool. I really appreciate that. That was it, it's one of those things that like happens so rarely in life where someone's just willing to give something away to someone who could use it. And I don't know. It was a really cool thing that someone did. Um the games are what you'd expect a small child to have. Uh we have SpongeBob SquarePants, the Yellow Avenger, Hot Shot Hot Shots Golf Tee Off. I can't even speak English right now. Um, a Game Boy Color game, which I'll probably hold on to. I've never heard of this. Hoyle card games. Sims 2 Pets, which is on the floor. Sims 2 Pets. One of the video Game Boy Advance things. I'm actually going to check that out. I don't know how the video works on that, but we got Nicktoons Collection Volume 1. Two more PSP games. Cars Race-O-Rama. And UMD or Mediocre Nicolas Cage Movie National Treasure 2. Um, and also Little Big Planet for the PSP. And that was in the first case. In the next case, which is actually for the Nintendo DS Lite, not a case you see very often. NDS Lite must be third party. Um, oh wow, I didn't even look at the games. So we got three games in this protector case. We have Disney's Bolt, Call of Duty Black Ops, and Sims 2 Apartment Pets. And then loose in here. We have Chrysler Classic Racing, uh, High School High School Musical Three, Nintendogs Dachshund and Friends, and probably the best game out of this lot, which I think I already have, uh, Wario Master of Disguise. But for the price of free, you can't really argue with that. I don't really know what to do with these. I feel bad reselling them. But I also don't know any kids around the age that these would be appropriate for, that they'd actually be interested in them. Uh, and then of course, she also had a an Atomic Purple Game Boy Color. And well, it looks like okay condition, a little bit battery corrosion. And it also had Mario Tennis, which I think I already have. She says it works fine. I literally have batteries right here, so we'll find out. Ding. Works perfectly fine. Sound is good. Can't argue with that for the price of free. But I think I'm actually going to finally end this thrifting video. I think this thrifting video has spanned over a month worth of pickups. I've had a beard, I've had hair, I now have nothing. But like the video, subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments below if anything like that has ever happened to you where you're looking at something and then someone just like out of the goodness of their heart offers something to you for free like that. Definitely didn't need to do that. Really appreciate it. 
definitely intend on paying it forward. Uh, where was I? I don't even know where I was. But as always, keep it real, internet. Also, big shout out to my Patreon subscriber, Totterbert. This is most likely going to be the Saturday video, so no weekend adventure for probably two weeks just because I'm moving in and we're supposed to have rain yet again this weekend. What the fuck?